thought to be part ape, part human, and it's believed that her species, more than three million years ago, were the ancestors to human beings. From Ethiopia, Palav Ghosh reports. This is what you've come to see. Amazing. This is unheard of. You can see the face. You can see the face, and you feel that it looks at you also. Is there any possibility that I might hold it? Yes, but I will have to take it out first. Here we have a piece of our evolutionary history. Absolutely amazing. This is a real-life Indiana Jones story. It began six years ago when Zere Almasged went to the deserts of northeast Ethiopia. He went in search of the fossilized remains of a 3.3 million year old creature that was part human and part ape. What he found in the sands was extraordinary. It was the most complete skeleton to date of a three year old ape like child. He spent the past six years unearthing its features. It's a delicate job. The sandstone has to be removed grain by grain. And the result, set to be revealed in the science journal Nature, will change our ideas of human evolution forever. When I realized what it represented, it was a huge joy and excitement, which was followed by a big sense of responsibility. When you find something like this, you have so much excitement that you want to go out there and tell the world that I have this, a baby which lived 3.3 million years. And this baby is not just a baby, but telling us stories. Those stories of the dawn of humanity have their beginnings here on the African plains. This used to be a dense forest, but millions of years ago the climate changed and the trees were gone. That meant that apes had to spend more time on the ground. Some learned to stand upright and walk on two feet. So this creature may well have been the world's very first child. And her species, which went on to become us, may well have been the very first to show the glimmerings of humanity. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, Addis Ababa.